Welcome back, everyone. Tammy Colon's with us today from Mental Health Recovery Services. She's helping us get through the holidays. Tammy, I know you've talked about this before, and I know people in my life who are like this, whether they're hosting parties or going to parties or having events, you know, out shopping, that kind of thing, they put so much pressure on themselves, and I got to do this, and I got to do that. Is there a time where you just sit back and say, you know what, I'm only human, I can only expect to do this, maybe lower the expectations a little bit? You know, it's... I say this all the time about most things, it's planning, right? It's really um, setting the expectation, having a way to accommodate it, making, because that will help you ensure that it's realistic, right? We can get carried away in our own mind if we're not careful and we can get bigger than what the reality will allow us to be. But when we really start to put it to paper, we plan what we wanna do, we plan how we're gonna make that happen, uh, you know, you have to be flexible along the way, but that really helps people keep their thought processes focused so they it doesn't become def feel over overwhelmed. Yeah, I like that idea of even listing it out, what things you have to do so it doesn't become too mind-boggling. One of the things you've talked about, too, is de-stressing and taking time for yourself to do that. Outside of drinking alcohol, find ways that will help you overcome this, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we we're in a really difficult time in our country and so this holiday season we have a lot of things coming to the table right we have in addition to just the general stress of the holidays we've got can everybody get along at the dinner table and not talk about these uh, belief systems and conflicts that are going on in our country so you know it's it's planning for that as well um, when i when i talk about taking time to de-stress again it's rehearsing it's working on developing um, how you're going to manage those stressful situations that may or may not occur, but having a plan, rehearsing how to respond to that in a way to diffuse it so it doesn't take over your holiday celebration. It, it makes people feel empowered, and then they're not nearly as anxious or afraid um, of having that gathering and those situations occurring. Yeah, you bring up such a good point because people are in, obviously, everybody's been affected by the pandemic and everything else that's going on. I love this notion of enjoying the moment because I've heard people even that I know closely who've said, you know, I don't even want to mess with Christmas year, this year. I don't want to even do it. But they're kind of weeding out the fun things in their life. And as you've said, take time to enjoy the moment, right? Yeah, I think that's absolutely true that um, we are feeling so overwhelmed and we are so concerned about conflict and, um, and things not being the way that they were that we're trying to avoid it. And in doing that, you're, you're absolutely correct. We're really minimizing those great things that happen to us, those things that make us feel good. Um, there's an old adage, you know, where your body goes, your mind goes. So joining and being social and attending those gatherings and walking through activities that historically have brought us good feelings, our body remembers that. So we go into a home that we grew up in and we feel it, right? We're around the people we love, we feel it. It generates those feelings. So sometimes it's just taking the step to do something that's, you know, you may not feel up to doing it, but it will bring you and regenerate those good feelings that we all need to experience right now. I think some of us have this, so we try to, you know, portray this tough exterior where if we've got problems, we could get through it ourselves without anyone helping us. But there are times that I think most of us in our life have to reach out and get some kind of professional help just to kind of balance things out, right? Absolutely. Um, and there's no shame in that. Because you need a neutral person to be a sounding board and to talk with and to expose the feelings that you may not want to share with your family or your friends doesn't mean you have a mental illness. It's all normal, it's natural, people are grieving. We've lost a lot of loved ones um, through this pandemic. People are coming uh, with that grief. It's hard to get through, but it's normal. And it's normal to wanna talk to somebody to get through it. And oftentimes somebody who you don't have to worry about putting that grief on, you're just taking care of your own self in that period of time. Yeah, it's such good advice. You don't have to be superhuman every holiday. Tammy, thank you so much for reminding us of that. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a great holiday. Same to you. It's nice chatting with you. We'll be back after this.